another good website that I've used before to either learn uh, how to code or to brush up on some old stuff um, has been uh, uh, was this site uh, Code Academy. <clears throat> it's and it's pretty thorough in um, what it does and, and how they do it. Basically, they let you code in the browser uh, to you know follow along in the different lessons that they have and things like that. So to sign up for it, you would you know use this little form right here or use your Google or Facebook account. Um, I already have an account on here, so I'm just going to click login. And I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account. Since I'm already logged into Google, uh, it's actually taking me to one of the courses I was messing with right before I did this video, just so that I could see what's going on or, or how the current site is set up. Um, this HTML and CSS course would probably be one of the beginner courses that most people would. Uh, need to take if they were interested in building websites or doing um, mobile application development and uh, a couple other things. Um, these are like the foundations of a lot of uh, those particular platforms and setups. Um, there's other things you can learn how to do in here which is a JavaScript course. This is one that I finished but basically I can take you back through and show you how a lot of these courses run. Basically there's a a set of things that you they, they want you to do in the course um, and they take you step by step in those those particular activities. So say if I were going to get started with programming in JavaScript, it'll give you some instructions and then you save and submit your code. Um, write your name within quotes, which is already done since I did this before. That wasn't actually my name. They'll give you little badges and points like that, and then you go to your next lesson. Basically, you have all of these lessons in here, and I think you can skip around to other ones. So if I wanted to skip ahead and do that, numbers and more, uh, it just you know it basically explains to you what's going on. It says you can use the asterisk for multiplication, the slash for division, and so this is the code that's in here. And let's just change that to kind of see something else. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So by saving submit code you'll see that 3 over here. So basically the code you type in over here will, um, if there's a results for that code it'll show in here. This is kind of like what the browser will actually show uh, with this code behind the scenes. Um, it does get a little bit more advanced as, it, as you get you know deeper into you know JavaScript and, and in this particular course is JavaScript course so you know this is like a, an example of a decision type of statement I guess you could call it a decision statement but basically it's a conditional <clears throat> statement meaning that there's a condition inside these parentheses that if that condition is true then this particular code will run <clears throat> so if a hundred is greater than two then this will run um, <clears throat> and submit the code and this is this will also show what would normally show in the console too which is this Chrome console uh, down here which is uh, just a debugging thing that developers use uh, when we're building websites and stuff like that so that's the JavaScript course it has several steps and then when you several different lessons and then when you get through that uh, they'll basically just say hey you got through it um, and you should gain some skills uh, in using that course or going through that course uh, <clears throat> there's also another section on here and I'm not sure how to get to it directly they just emailed me about it um, and that's like the projects that are in here. Let me just try to see if I can find projects. That's the blog. This is my account information. This is one of the projects. I guess I, I got that under learn. Yeah, so you go to Code Academy Learn. I'm not sure exactly how to get to learn from the home page. It automatically took me there because I'm, I'm logged in now. And this is one that, of the courses I picked on here. 
So basically under learn, uh, they have some other skills you can uh, develop. And these two projects are basically like short projects that are full projects to, to do um, that basically will help you, you know, utilize the skill you, you skills you, you learn by completing the other courses. Um, <clears throat> some more projects on the site. Uh, I thought there were a ton more, but I'm not sure exactly how to find them now. They redesigned the site and it's not the easiest thing for me to figure out the way they have it laid out. Um, okay, yeah, here's some uh, API type projects basically. <clears throat> but um, other than that, um, it's a it's a really good site. I love I it's really useful, especially for beginners, um, that, and people that want to learn how to do or learn one of these languages or platforms <clears throat> or frameworks or whatever you want to call jQuery.